Good morning, I'm Julia Dunn, and this is your CBS6Albany.com morning update. We're following a developing story in Schenectady this morning. That's where police are investigating a stabbing that happened earlier today. Officers were called to 1229 Main Street in the city's Mont Pleasant section just after 2.30 in the morning. And they tell CBS 6 that a man was stabbed in the chest. He was taken to Albany Med and at last check is in critical condition. Police do say that they have a woman in custody right now. We'll keep you posted on any updates. Happening today, the trial against Herman Robinson picks back up. And today, the prosecution may play an interview tape with Robinson on it. He's the Schenectady man. Prosecutors say raped a teenager and then killed the child that he had with her. She was cross-examined by Robinson's lawyer on Tuesday, who tried to call into question some things that just didn't match up in her testimony. She admitted that her memory is fuzzy at times, saying it was blurred by emotion. While it happens every single year, rushing to file your taxes could lead to some big mistakes. So here's a couple of things to look out for and double check before you mail in your taxes if you haven't done that yet. First, make sure that you have the correct postage. Some tax returns include many forms and require additional postage. Make sure that you've signed your name in all the places required and put the right filing status. And also double check that you wrote out your social security number and that the number you wrote out is correct. Finally, be mindful of new health care tax reporting guidelines. Most taxpayers this year need to check off a box to indicate whether or not they had health care coverage for all of 2014. And remember, you can always file for an extension over the phone, online, or by filling out a paper form. But there is something to be aware of. Actually, one of the things to note this year is that we've seen several cases of uh, so-called identity theft. In other words, where people have filed their tax returns or we've transmitted tax returns to the IRS and the IRS has indicated to them that they've already had a, a return on record. In which case someone out there has used your your information, your you know, your name or your social security number to file a fraudulent tax return. The post office on Central Ave in Albany is open until 8 tonight, and there's another post office on Carner Road in Albany that's going to be open until 6 this evening. That's your CBS6Albany.com morning update. Check back throughout the morning for other updates we have or breaking news, and Nick has your latest weather forecast right on our homepage.